Hello everyone and welcome to the Mike from LA1 Network on Mike 49324. And welcome back to the Derek Gibson My Career Series here in NBA 2K13. This is episode 3, last episode. Derek Gibson moved, made the transition from NBA 2K12 into this game. And he got drafted to the Atlanta Hawks. And as we kick off this kick off this game against the Houston Rockets, who lost to the Oklahoma City Thunder in the playoffs here. So here we go here. Derek Gibson. That's ready to make his NBA debut against the Atlanta Hawks. And but since there's lack of pre lack of a uh, key games in this game, we're gonna play at least some of it. Next season we're gonna skip it. We're gonna go back to what 2K12 is. And don't forget 2K12 will be following this and uh then there'll be the coaching carousels and we'll be done for the day. And also breaking news. Guys, I'm ready to show what I got. NBA, here I come, baby. It's now or nothing. <laughs> As I was going to say, breaking news, either it happened just, just happened today or it happened a few hours ago, a few days ago, Millionaire708, the guy that keeps stealing people's videos, well, his YouTube career is over. He yes, earlier today or a few days ago, his account got terminated. So, so all I can say to that is, na 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 na, hey hey, goodbye, you're gone. And I did not mean, I guess my Xbox thought I called a timeout, but I didn't. So we take a look at Josh Smith's ranks, which looks like at this point, at any point right now, Gibson, Josh Smith could become the newest member of the Los Angeles Lakers. That is if Dwight stays, of course. So Josh Smith gives it to Derek Gibson. Gibson takes the, takes the shot, and he will make it. And there's his first points in the NBA. And oh, I gotta leave a son. So, as he is wearing his trademark number 40, and there you see Harris back call for a pass, but he makes it anyway for a three pointer. And I know this is a little early to complain, but. In 2K14, hopefully they can expand like the my player, my career, if that's what it's going to be called next season. And there's a good foul for Derek Gibson. So as one of my pet peeves going on around here is that I've been thinking that maybe, and there you see as he's, as the coach is not liking what he sees, so, so I'm kind of liking what he sees from Gibson. As I hopefully they can put in the alternate jerseys for my career, because these jerseys are getting stale and repetitive. And there's Harris; he misses for the first shot here. So, so don't forget this is kicked. This was kicked in the nuts team in 2K12 before he got dealt to Utah. Yeah, one, that's funny. One of my characters got traded to Utah while, while, not his fan and Lewis Scott aren't doing anything. And there you see Harry the Hawk. So he misses the shot and he is liking what he sees so far. And that's the end of the half with the score. The Hawks 45-37. Now it's time for the Sprint Halftime Report. As there you see Kyle Korver, one of the other days being thrown around to being a Los Angeles Laker. One of the other names being tossed around. Well, actually, Corver and Smith, I think they make a great addition to the Laker lineup, even though we have to go younger with uh, Kobe's injury, though. So. so here we go. Gibson gives it to Smith, and there's another assist for Derek Gibson.
interesting is that there have been rumors over the last few seasons that he wouldn't mind playing elsewhere. And I think sometimes it's difficult playing in your own backyard. A lot of pressure, a lot of people around you who need things. Sometimes you leave your hometown, it's easier to focus on the task at hand. Well, that's what the Lakers can do to you. So here's Aaron Brooks. And there's Assis Harden. Harden. gives it to James Harden. Harden. And there's Jeff Teague. Well done, sir. And there's a big dunk right there. By Sponsor by Sprite. And a 70 it. So a 10-point lead here for the Rockets. I mean, for the Hawks, excuse me. And there you see John Smith gives it to Jeff Teague. Teague will give it to Jones, and there's the layup and the score. And the Hawks continue. And there you see a good shot defense, and... No, Josh Smith got fouled him, so, and coach, and the coach of the Hawks is liking what he's seeing, so a minute 37 left as the Hawks, and there's a dynamic goal, do not let Omir Assets get the ball, to get the ball, using off-ball defense, how do I do that, I do not know. Oh, I got it. But the bad news is the Hawks are down by five. So Derek Gibson, Al Harford gives it to Gibson. Gibson commits a turnover. And there's Garcia. Can someone block him? Nope. And there you see Gibson. He's getting it here. And there you see Derek Gibson and got it. And the fans are liking what they're seeing from Gibson. And, that, and there's a reaching foul right there. As Gibson is could not believe that. And I think he just gave the Hawks the, the Rockets the victory. So he's now a power forward. So here we go, Harris will pass it to get Derek Gibson here. Gibson will pass it to Hartford, and there's another assist. That is huge. He got it as guess he's going to move back to center. So it looks like right now the game could. Over that last break, Kevin, I got a chance to hear what Larry Drew said to his team. He challenged this group to really go for it, saying, now's the time when winners take control. Now let's go out there and take it to them. Guys, a nice pep talk. We'll but that is it. The Hawks, the Hawks fall. The Hawks do fall 94-87, which is kind of a devastating, but Derek, Derek Gibson had a, a fair performance, but he got 64 skill points, which, that's not bad for a day's work. Not bad for a day's work. 94-87 is your final score, though, so the Rockets do lose. James Harden is your player of the game, so let's go to the press conference. So he has to deal with the press of Atlanta. Making him just the third character to land in Atlanta. Yeah, I think so. I was pretty happy with the way I played. You know, at this point, I'm still just getting used to my role on the team and, you know, doing everything I can to learn from the guys who've been here longer than me. I hope this was only the beginning of what will be a long career ahead of me, you feel me? 
I hear that for you, brother. I hear that, Derek Gibson. So Derek Gibson, the nickname is the baddest one, cause well, we needed a, I needed a character that is a kind of a nice guy to our community. So, and I thought Derek Gibson could be the guy. I mean, it's not like I'm gonna do Doug Martin or anything. Although I could see him as a potential Mike Four Nine Three Two Four character once M NBA, once I get NBA Two K Fourteen though. So. Yeah, no, I completed a milestone. Yeah, so congratulations. If you take a look at that social... Close here, so here we go. So there you see, so didn't see a lot. But he liked what he saw. K-Dub 626 liked what he saw. Let's go Hawks. Old Traveler 68 saying, gotta be feeling that one still. I didn't know how you guys deal with that close losses like this one. It's hard enough as a fan. LOL. Yeah, Chris Palmer said... D. Gibson stepped into an NBA court for the first time tonight in the Hawks Rockets game. I confess he has a long career ahead of him. Yes, he does. So on to the next matchup against the Oklahoma City Thunder. Uh, this is not going to be easy because they're heading to Oklahoma City. And if that's not enough, they got to face the Miami Heat next. I know this is when I gained crest. I was a member of the Hawks, so. Yeah. So, here we go. Def Teague and the Thunder. Def Teague, Josh Smith, and Al Horford of the Hawks get ready to face Russell Westbrook, Kevin Durant, and Kevin Durant of the Oklahoma City Thunder. So this is not going to be a walk through the park. So here we go. Time to take on the Thunder at the Chesapeake Energy Arena. So there you see, we now get to see, now we get to see uh, Derek in the road jerseys here for the first time, so, oh shoot, I didn't scan him in the home jersey, oh well, I guess we can save that for the next episode. But now let's take a look at him in this Atlanta uniform set here, which, as I said in my kick to the nuts one, they're, they're nice. Although the number 40 on the back is fine, but actually the 40 design is really clever here. So here we go, Derek Gibson making his second appearance here. Now call us in here, and he didn't get the chance to block him for Restbrook here, so here we go. And there's Bruin, and he didn't manage to get him there, so that that sucked, but don't worry. The game's still young, as the Thunder are up by six. When Teague gives it to Derek Gibson. Gibson made both of his shots in his first game, but he has no choice but to pass it to Jeff Teague. Teague will give it back to Gibson. Will give it to Devin Harris. We'll make it, and he'll get a pass leading to a foul, so there goes the bonus. For what is this? The coach is not liking what he sees so far, so here we go. So the Thunder are up 24-18 when Gibson gets back out there with three minutes left to go in the, in the half here, so. So there's Kevin Durant, and he will make the three. And there's another assist, and just like that, he cut the deficit into six. And he's at a C plus, which he almost got in his first game. So got to still used to being even up the score. We have to tie it at halftime here. There you see Jenkins. Jenkins, he will not pass it to Gibson. There's Joe Johnson, who's got traded to Brooklyn. 
Well, it didn't. Things did not work out there. Now, oh, here comes Durant. Here, oh boy, here comes Westbrook. And there you see it. And there's he allowed Durant to score. So, and he there goes to C plus. And he and now there goes his teammate grade. Starting to go down here. So here we go. Gibson misses his first shot in the NBA. And so far, it has been mostly Oklahoma City. Gives it to Johnson here. So there you see Johnson makes it. So there you see Harris. And Derek Gibson and yep, I fig you figure as such they're gonna miss. And once again he got his teammate grade lowered because that they thought it was a bad call. Now he has to be careful not to be too excessive. And there's Johnson and he misses. We hope you learned your lesson. So there we go as Gibson didn't do much as the Thunder keeps missing here. So two seconds left to go into half and that is it. Oh, a last second dunk. So, uh, so the, the Hawks will trail at halftime 34-25. So he fails to get that dynamic goal though. So. They're going to get him back in there quick, but he actually has 89 seconds to impress the coach, especially when he's a small forward. No, he's center again. I guess Ibaka is his competition here. So a five-point lead here, and then here we go, and there's Ibaka. Oh, he didn't get him in time, and thus he got the allowed man to score. We hope you learned your lesson. So they removed him off the C average range, so he's back down to a C minus for the first time since episode one. And there's Kyle Corver. Tipped as he gives it to Smith, and there's Teague, and he will miss. And there's the foul by Jackson. So he is out, and he is back in there, and at this point, the game is good as over. 80-57. There's Kendrick Perkins. He wants to stop him, but nope. The referee says back up. Give him some room. And there you see Kendrick. He thought he was going to take a shot. Kevin Markin. That was that could have been a good shot defense right there, but nope. And there you see Jenkins. Jenkins gives it to Der Derek Gibson. Gibson trying to take the shot and he will make it. So Coach Drew has got to like what he saw from Gibson right there. Just gets Jackson in. Oh, Gibson nearly got it, but Scott gets it in. So 10 seconds left. The game's good as over. 
Gibson will stay a C minus, which not bad, but it could have been worse. So a tough loss for o for the Atlanta Hawks. They go 0 and 2, for, and they're off to a rough start. And Gibson loses to Atlanta, and he has a huge letdown of a performance after a debut. So he doesn't get any any skill points from this one whatsoever. So he does lose 10 skill points. He does he does get a C minus, which caused him to get nothing. The player of the game is Russell Westbrook. Who do you ex who else? So there we go, and that concludes that part of this game here, so it's now time to go to the press conference. Yep. Actually, when I just when I did, when I announced that I was gonna do a Derek Gibson, I want to make him like a CM Punk kind of guy, making sure that he drives drops as many pipe bombs as possible. So that this that just about wrap it up. Millionaire 708 has been terminated, and hopefully, and SJ Shark wannabe did announce that there is a possibility he did open a new account, but it, we gotta wait and find out. So as we take a look at the social media, here saying horrible loss. Is saying what's up with that? Oh yeah, that much. Gotta be the head saying horrible loss. I hope. I hope that's an aberration or D Gibson about to go demand a trade or something. Well, he actually responded to this guy saying it's a tough loss. He's saying tough. He's saying we gotta let that. Without talking to reporters. Ooh. So with that, that should just about wrap up this episode. Come back next time as they have a much easier task to getting their first win against the Indiana Pacers. Come back for that, guys, and he'll talk to the general manager before then. Come back for that, guys.